Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to take a cheap webcam like this one that I got here. That's just a no-name 1080p uh, full, full HD webcam and uh, actually make it look good inside OBS and on your live stream. Uh, normally I tell people if they're looking to use a webcam for streaming just to go with the Logitech C920 uh, or similar because they are for the price about the best you can get and overall webcams aren't that great. Uh, but what if you're stuck with something cheap like this and you know that's all your budget calls for? How can you make it look at least semi-decent until you're able to later on upgrade your cam? That's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, plug it into the computer, and then we're going to jump into the computer and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would set it up, all of the settings inside OBS, all of that uh, to make it look the best that it's able to look. All right, let's roll the intro and jump into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see right now on the screen, I have OBS Studio pulled up, uh, and all of this stuff works in OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, whichever one you're using or, or any of the other uh, things. This is all basically the same. Uh, so what program you're using to stream doesn't actually matter. But as you can see here, I actually have the webcam live. That's what you're seeing on screen right now inside the OBS window. Uh, is the webcam the cheap one? that I showed you guys. It's just a generic uh, $20 webcam uh, off of Amazon that I, that was sent to me. And I was trying to figure out what kind of video to do or if I wanted to actually review it or not. And I thought maybe something like this would actually be more helpful. I may actually still do a full review on it depending on how it you know actually looks when we're done and if I think it's actually any kind of a good deal or not this specific webcam. Uh, however, these settings will help no matter what webcam you're using. So even if you're using something like the Logitech C920, which is one of the best webcams you can get in my opinion, uh, still to this day, uh, these settings work for, for whether it's the cheapest webcam or the best webcam, it's gonna make your webcam look better. So the very first thing, the most important thing that you wanna do is get some lighting. And I don't mean the lighting that's over top of me, as you can see now, because what that does is it's blowing out the top of my head. It's blowing out everything. And that's what we're left with. So before we actually change any settings, we want to get some decent lighting. Now you might be thinking, oh, I don't have a budget. I bought a cheap webcam. That's why I'm watching this video. That's cool. You don't need really expensive lighting. When I first started off, the lights that I used were lamps that I just deflected the light using some pieces of white, you know, card stock to kind of hit towards me. Uh, and I you know, hung a sheet over the light to, to diffuse it, to give me some high quality diffused light. Uh, so it doesn't have to be expensive. You can use anything. I've even done videos on this channel where I use like the LED uh, work lights that you can get off Amazon for like 10 bucks a piece. And you just, you know, again, put a sheet over the front of them or whatever, shine it so that it's shining through like a white sheet uh, to diffuse the light and then you're good to go. So just because I say lighting doesn't mean it has to be super expensive, but you need lighting that's directly uh, going to shoot on you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the overhead lights and I'm going to turn on my main light. The best lighting, you need two types of lights. You need a key light, which is the light that's hitting right on your face and then creating shadows on your other side. And then you kind of need a fill light that just fills in a little bit, you know, around you, behind you and all that. Uh, so normally your key lights a little bit brighter than your fill light. Uh, again, that way you create a little bit of contrast. At least that's the style I like, but honestly you can do it however you like. So let me go ahead and uh, turn off the overhead lights. And as you can see, we're left with a pretty dark image. So now let me go ahead and turn on my key light. And I have my key light on. Again, the webcam still looks like crap because we haven't adjusted any settings yet, uh, but you'll see why the lighting's so important once we do. And lastly, let me go ahead and turn on my fill light. All right, so as you can see, I have my key light on and my fill light. Uh, and now the light, even though I'm overexposed right now because we haven't adjusted any settings, uh, the light is more even on my face. I don't have like a big bright spot on the top of my head that was blown out uh, like I did with the overhead lights. Uh, everything's a little more even. That's the benefit of using light that's directed right towards you. I still have the window back there that is, uh, you know, kind of blowing out the frame uh, because uh, normally when I'm streaming, I use a green screen so that window doesn't bother me. But if I was setting up this room, I would hang black poster board in that window or some kind of blind or something to block that light. But once we have our lighting set, and again, it, it looks bad right now, but, you know, that's what we got to do, you know, it makes a big, uh, at the end with all the settings adjusted, I'll show you guys taking the key light in that away and just having the overhead lights and the difference that, that the lighting actually makes. 
So now I already added this webcam in so that you guys are able to see me into OBS. Uh, but to do that, you just hit the plus button. You do uh, video capture, I believe is right. Isn't it called video capture device? Yeah, video capture device. And then you're going to be presented with a window that looks like this. And under the device, you're going to select. In this case, it's called FHD webcam. Again, it's a no-name webcam. Uh, and then you're kind of listed with some options. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is is the biggest thing you can do when it comes to getting the best quality out of any camera, uh, whether it's a webcam or a professional camera, is to get out of auto settings. And that means to adjust the lighting, you know, the exposure of the camera so that like right now I'm super blown out and all that ourselves so that it doesn't look like that. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go to custom for our resolution and we're going to up it to make sure we're at 19 uh, 20 by 1080 you can see the picture quality already got better so by default the webcam wasn't even due in 1080 uh and match out out uh out pet i can't talk match output fps it says auto detect 30 uh this webcam probably only does a max of 30 if you're doing 60 fps you know I, i've never had anybody ever notice guys so even if you're recording your gameplay at uh 60 fps personally uh, I would still recommend doing the higher resolution with the 30 FPS, then dropping down to something like 720 to get that 60 FPS. But that's just me. Then the settings that we're worried about are when we click on the configure video. When we click on the configure video here, we're going to get a pop-up box like this appear. And these are all of the settings. And you can see we have auto uh, and under camera control, we have exposure, we have auto. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and fix our exposure. So I'm going to go ahead and turn... Uh, off the auto and then I'm manually gonna select what looks good and you can already see uh, how much of a difference this actually makes and it only actually really changes up until there but nonetheless it looks a lot better right there the roll that's just flips the camera uh, I you know every camera is a little different so I'm just checking here so we're gonna hit apply so I get negative one exposure I don't know if you can go zero on it whoops I closed it let me click configure video again, which will bring up this box. Uh, and now we're going to want to adjust our white balance manually. So we're going to uncheck that as well. And we're going to adjust it so that the, you know, it matches your skin tone and stuff. I'm a pretty tan guy. I got a little bit of orange yellow to me. So I'm thinking maybe like 4,800 and you can actually click in here and then adjust it, uh, you know, by tens or sometimes singly, depending on the thing, uh, by using the arrow keys. Sometimes that's a little easier. Our brightness. We can uh, turn that down a bit or adjust it where we want that. Again, I don't have any light shining in the background, so the background's going to be darker than me. Uh, but I actually think I did like it a little brighter. So maybe we'll do 10 with that. Our contrast, we're going to adjust that. So your contrast makes your your darks darker and your and your it makes your whites and your darks spread out a little bit. So you, again, you're gonna kind of play with each of these settings as you see me doing, uh, just to kind of you know make it look the best that it can look. And then we're gonna adjust our saturation, get some color in there. We don't want too much. You don't want to overdo it. Again, depending on the camera you're using, it might be a little bit different. Uh, but you want to find something that shows the colors but doesn't look too bad. Sharpness, again, you can uh, you can play with that and kind of figure out where you want to put it. You know, it's not making much of a difference on this webcam. The gamma uh, doesn't look like it's doing too much either. So we're going to leave that. And, and, and every camera is different. Some cameras, like I know the Logitech C920, the gamma actually does something. Uh, so you just got to kind of play with it and, and figure out. Uh, and that's what we got. So after adjusting it, we now are left with this image, which in my opinion, looks a heck of a lot better than it did in the beginning. And again, just to show you guys the difference, what I'm gonna do is go back into properties, go back to the configure video, and all I'm gonna do is just uh, put everything back to the default, change our resolution back, and you can see, Again, what we kind of started with, which actually, let me uh, also, one thing I didn't do is I need to uh, check back this so that it'll brighten everything up. Uh, so again, versus something like this, we now have, again, I'll do it a little more quickly. Boom, we have 4,800 here. Adjust that where we want it there. And again, custom. And again, just to show you guys the difference now with the settings, like I was talking about with the lights, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn back on my top lights. 
Uh, you know, again, I normally use a green screen, so I don't have other light fill in the room. Uh, so in this case with this camera, I might go ahead and turn on uh, the, the, the top lights as well if I was wanting to illuminate the whole room. So let me go ahead and turn on those lights, but then I'll also turn off these ones after I show it with everything on, just to show you with just the overhead lights and the correction. So let me go ahead and turn back on the overhead lights. So this is with the overhead lights back on. And again, I think it looks a lot better uh, in this particular case because I am lighting up uh, kind of the room behind me uh, versus not. Again, I don't normally, this is a very long room. Uh, so with no lights on in the background, it looks very dark back there. Uh, however, just again, you guys kind of saw the image and you might have to go back and forth in the video or whatever, but you saw how it looked with just the overheads at the beginning. So I want to turn off the lights that are shining on me to show you guys what it would look like that way. So let me go ahead and turn off those lights again. And there we go. So you guys can see just how much having those front lights help. And even if I go into the properties here, back into the configure video, and we want to raise the exposure or anything, uh, which we can't there, so we gotta raise the brightness. So even if we wanted to raise the brightness, it just doesn't work very well. We could hit the auto exposure, which will bright, you know, brighten up the image overall by itself, uh, higher than what we can manually. Uh, but as you can see, it just still doesn't look as good as when I have those front lights on. So again, this is what it looks like with uh, all the color, all the corrections we did, but without the front lights. And then this is how it looks when I turn those front lights back on that are actually hitting me right on the front of the face and everything. Uh, it looks a heck of a lot better. So out of this video, the biggest thing I can tell you when working with any kind of camera, but especially cheap webcams, is having good lighting that's shining on you Dif good diffused lighting. Like I said, if you want to use a normal lamp or things like that, you can just make sure you're diffusing it with either a bed sheet, you know, a white cloth or something or some kind of thing to diffuse that light. Uh, that's what gives you this even uh, light color and really makes uh, even a crappy web camera uh, shine. Now, the only other thing I might do personally with a camera like this is as you can see, it, it has a, a pretty good warp effect if you look at some of the walls and outside things. Uh, the middle of it doesn't look that bad. So once I was to actually, you know, let's say go down here and, and put it in the bottom of my screen or whatever, I would actually then go ahead and you hold down the Alt key and you can slide in and crop a little bit of this camera. So I would actually probably crop it like this or something. That way then I kinda, and I'll make it big just so you can see what I'm talking about, uh, but kind of crop out a little bit of the very edges where it really looks warped uh, in this camera. You know, that's not something you're really going to fix too well inside OBS. Uh, you know, it's just it's just part of using a cheap camera. Uh, but again, you know, I think it looks a lot better than what we started with. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it gave you some tips, some ideas, uh, showed you how important the lighting is more than anything. Uh, you know, I could even, for example, uh, I'm not going to in this video, but I could fire up my DSLR camera and show you guys without any lights on how bad that would look and just how much of a difference even lights with a professional camera uh, makes everything look so much better. Uh, but again, the biggest takeaway, you want to manually adjust the settings uh, for your camera. You don't want it to let it do anything auto because it's just not going to do as good of a job as you can. And number two, you want to make sure you have great lighting. Uh, and that's how you make a cheap webcam look pretty damn good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like. That helps me out in the YouTube algorithms and gets other people to see this video, which may help them. Also, if you like videos related to gaming and streaming like this video, uh, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button below and ringing the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, peace out, everybody. Oh, uh -huh.